हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज फॉर सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स क्लास सेवन चैप्टर वन इंटीजर्स एंड दिस इज आर लेक्चर टू लेक्चर नंबर टू इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ इंटीजर्स एंड वी विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड ऑन एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू एंड एग्जाम्पल्स बिफोर इट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉपर्टीज फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टीज विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इज क्लोजर अंडर एडिशन वट दिस मीन्स इफ यू आर एडिंग टू एनी टू इंटीजर इधर पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव द रिजल्ट इज ऑलवेज एन इंटीजर आई हैव गिवेन एग्जाम्पल सपोज यू आर एडिंग माइनस सेवन एंड नाइन यू विल गेट प्लस टू दिस इज ऑल्सो एन इंटीजर सो बाय दिस एग्जाम्पल वी कैन से क्लोजर अंडर एडिशन मीन्स If you are adding any two integer, you will always get an integer. This is our first property. Come to the second. Second property is closer under subtraction. What it means? It means if you are subtracting any two integer, the result you will get is always an integer. Again, I am repeating. If you are subtracting any two integer, the result is always an integer. This can be explained by an example. Suppose seven and nine are two integer, and you are subtracting them. The answer is all. Answer is also an integer. So if you subtract two integers, you will always get an integer. This is our closer under subtraction. Now the third property, that is commutative property. What it says, if you are adding two integer in any order, you will get the same result. That is a plus b equals to b plus a. If you are adding a to the b or you are adding b to the a, you will get the same result. This is commutative property in integers. There is an example. If you are adding seven plus three or three plus seven, this remains same irrespective of their order. This is our commutative property. Now come to the fourth one, that is associative property. What what this property says? It says if you are adding Uh, a plus in bracket b plus c equals to in bracket a plus b plus c. What it says, if you are adding last two integer to the first one, this will be same as if you are adding first two integer with the last one. Again, if you are adding last two integer with the first one, this will remain same if you add first two integer. With the third one, the answer remains same. Where a, b, c, they all belongs to integer. Now one more one example related to this property. Seven. Suppose I have taken a equals to seven, b equals to three, c equals to two. This will uh, re, this will same. A you have to write seven plus in bracket three plus two. It will be same as seven plus three plus two. So. Let us solve it. Either this property satisfy or not. Seven plus. You have to add the these two integers first. Three plus two is five. It will be seven plus three, five is twelve. You will get twelve in on LHS. You will get twelve. Now solve RHS. Uh, first you have to add the numbers in bracket. It will be ten plus. Two, it will gives you twelve. So now LHS R and RHS they both are equal. So it means this property holds in integer. That is a plus in bracket b plus c equals to in bracket a plus b plus c. This is our fourth property associative. Now come to the next property. That is additive identity. Identity means same. By what number sh uh, should a number be should an integer be added so that you get the same integer? That number is obviously that is zero. अगर आप seven में क्या number add करोगे, then you will get the seven. That is zero. And one more thing to be noted that zero is the additive identity of all integers. If you are adding zero to any integer, you will get the same integer. Identity means same, identical. You will get the identity. So zero is additive identity of every integer. So let me recall all the properties for all the properties. First, we have learned about closer under addition. It means if you are adding two 
integers the result is always an integer closer under subtraction if you are subtracting two integer you will get an integer this is closer under subtraction commutative property if you are adding if you are adding a to the b or b to the a this remains same and where a and b are integers third comes sorry fourth comes associative if you are adding last two with the first one this will remain same if you are adding first two with the last one this is our associative property next comes additive identity it means you have to add something to the num integer so you will get the same integer that is zero zero is additive identity of every integer now let, let us discuss some ex example number one given on page number nine that is example number one what is that question write down a pair of integer you have to just think a pair of integer whose sum is minus three you have to just think two integers whose sum will gives you minus three i have written one example you can think about more examples some more examples different from this if i have taken minus one and minus two if i add them i will get the minus three one more example you may think suppose minus five plus two you will get minus three this is also the second uh, one more example so i request all of you just think examples yourself different from it so if you this this i have exam this is the example i th thought minus one plus minus two will gives you minus three b part is you have to write down a pair of integer such that their difference is minus five it means difference their difference is minus five so i have I thought two integers that are minus two and minus that is minus two and plus three. If I subtract them, I will get the resultant that is minus five. Third part, you have to write down a pair whose difference is two. Minus seven minus minus nine. Minus minus is plus, so minus seven plus nine will gives you two. So this is the example which satisfy the given condition. now come to the fourth part that is sum is zero just you have to write two integers whose sum is zero minus 10 plus 10 their sum is zero you can think mo more examples 7 minus 7 this will always give you zero so you can you you can think infinite examples now come to question number 4 exercise 1.2 this question is related to the related to the properties we have learned so far first one just you have to fill the blanks using the properties minus 5 plus minus 8 equals to minus 8 plus minus 5 just you have to compare this first part with the properties we have learned as we come to know that this is commutative property minus 5 plus minus 8 will gives you minus 8 Plus minus five. So this is minus five using commutative property of, property of integers that we have learned. Second, that now I am taking part fourth difficult parts. I am taking here thirteen plus in bracket minus twelve in bracket bracket close plus dash is equals to thirteen plus minus twelve plus minus seven. We can observe that there is a bracket in first two terms. on lhs and there is also a bracket on rhs on the last two terms that we now compare the properties with this equation we come to know the here there is a use of associative property minus th uh, on lhs there there is a bracket on first two first two integers and on rhs we have the bracket on the last two integers so it will be using associative property it will be answer will be minus 7 you can compare it with the associative property we have learned so far now come to the fifth part minus 4 plus in bracket 15 plus minus 3 in bracket that will gives you minus 4 plus 15 plus dash same uh, you can compare this with associative property minus 4 we can see in this part there is a bracket on last two integers and on lhs and there is a bracket on first two integers in rhs so the answer will be 
माइनस थ्री दीज आर द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू योर प्रॉपर्टीज वी हैव लर्न नाउ रेस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू दे आर इजी टू सोल्व सो आई एम गिविंग दोज क्वेश्चन इन योर होमवर्क योर होमवर्क फॉर टूडे इज डू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू द रिमेनिंग वन एंड द एग्जाम्पलर क्वेश्चन वन ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी एंड वन थर्टी वन ऑफ यूनिट वन इन होमवर्क नोटबुक आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू नोट इट डाउन द होमवर्क and this is all about lecture 2 if you face any doubt just comment thank you